guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be playing with doing a second impressions of the makeup that I picked up during the Sephora sale. The day that I'm filming this is actually the last day of the sale, so I may have another order coming, but that that's for a different video. We're gonna do the two hauls that I did, <laughs> and I'm going back and testing these products so that I can eventually do uh, speed reviews and give you as good information as possible after I've tested these products multiple times with multiple other products. So we're just playing with the new Sephora purchases. But before we get into that, a huge thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. I have worked with them for years at this point, meaning I've had their jewelry for years and I love it. I stand by their quality. I think it's really high quality with very good prices, which are starting at just $39. I find them to be long lasting, tarnish resistant, and I think their designs are the best simple minimal jewelry that's really elevated looking and not to mention that their jewelry is backed by a two-year warranty so if you're not satisfied they will send you a replacement or reimbursement no questions asked they also keep the planet in mind that they are carbon neutral and climate neutral certified which offsets a hundred percent of their carbon footprint so I want to show you the pieces that I got this time they are so beautiful I got two necklaces so when you order they're all going to come in a nice sleeve which is great for travel and the first necklace that I picked up is the Rowena necklace which I think is a great layering piece it's really delicate it is this you can see it's kind of like a floral print this is gonna layer well with other jewelry or it does make a statement on its own if that's all you're wearing it with I think it's really really beautiful and then the other necklace that I have layered over top is the Adelaide and this one is fun I don't have another necklace like this in my collection again a really great layering piece I feel like it's really great for summer it's kind of beachy and again it's still delicate but also makes a statement at the same time and then I picked up two earrings so the first one are the amber earrings which is very good with a simple outfit it adds this touch of gold but it does have a little danglies to it which will elevate the look as well I think it's quite a sophisticated piece so cute and then the last earrings I mean I think this one might be my favorite this time so this is the Paris pave it's what I have in my ears right now it's just like a twisted hoop so it has kind of like the diamondy twist with the gold parts and I think it adds a fun element to hoops it's still somewhat minimal because it's a smaller size but it definitely has some zest to it if you know what I mean so I'm really excited about these pieces I love all of the Ana Luisa pieces that I already have in my collection otherwise I wouldn't work with them for as long as I have so I'm gonna have the link to shop Ana Luisa down below and if you use the code MorganT20 at checkout that will save you 20% off I think this makes a really great gift for Mother's Day which is up and coming so maybe consider that so yeah Morgan T20 20% off link in the bio and I will um, get moving forward with this makeup now okay so first I actually want to try a scent that I got from the sale this is by the brand Fleur and it's the missing person Eau de Parfum now this is from a Sephora favorite set which actually has a few more items that I'm trying for today which by the way this one is the clean me up kit which is $35 I think I've done a short on this already it should have been posted and I was actually gonna pick up this tower 28 mascara for the sale and I saw that the full size is actually in this kit so I was like well I get to try all these other things as well so this is not like fruity or anything I don't even know what it smells like but it smells good it's not my typical kind of scent but I mean you do get a lot of product again it's just a really good deal $35 and this is just a small portion of what is in here um I don't see any notes on not sweet but it, it smells good that's what I can say so we're testing this Fleur fragrance and then for a base today I'm gonna use the drunk elephant D bronzy anti-pollution sun sunshine drops this is really really viral from Alex Earl if you watch her on TikTok she uses this and this is from the Sephora favorite vacay all day set which is $48 but again you get full size items like this and the new makeup by Mario in here is full size and then you, of course you get all of these other things so these are one of my favorite pickups for the Sephora sale I know it's not going on anymore but I think they are worth it without any discount they did sell out online because they are such a good deal they 
flew off the shelves, but they might have it available at your Sephora in store. So still like look online and it will tell you if it's at your local Sephora, you can buy it online and then go in store and pick it up. So that's why I'm still mentioning it, even if it's not available to pick up online, but let's try it. This is supposed to give me a tan. Let's see. I don't want to play too much because I'm kind of scared. I'm also not wearing my normal towel around me because I always stain my clothes with makeup, but <laughs> it's really hot with the towel around me because it's a cold rainy day in Miami today. But with the towel around me, I'm hot in the sweater dress. So this definitely gives my face more of a tanned look, which is really great if you self tan, but don't put any on your face. This is gonna help kind of give more of a bronzy look. Oh yeah, I definitely look more tanned. It definitely gives a glow. I don't self tan, so I don't know that this is a product that I see myself using too often, but she gave us some color. I didn't pick up a new foundation or any eyebrow products. So I'm gonna pop on the Laura Mercier foundation that's new real quick. I like this. I find that this is really long wearing and I'll be back. As you can see, we're doing a lot on the eyes and I actually just used a lot of different eyeshadows on my eyes. And normally I don't use multiple palettes, but that's happening today. So you'll see that during the sale, I did pick up this Glossier Monochrome's eyeshadow palette and I got it in the shade Teak. So I'm just gonna start off with the brown in here. And I'm gonna put this in my crease. I kept getting ads for this on TikTok. And so I was like, finally, okay, I'll buy it. And the crease shade here, you can see it's pretty light, but I think it casts a really great shadow for today's look. I just used a little bit of concealer on my eyelid, nothing crazy. And then this is not from Sephora, but I'm using this Ace Beauty Palette Palette because it has a dark green shade that I wanted to incorporate in today's look. It's this one right here in grungy. And I'm going to kind of pat it on the outer half of my eyelid and then going to blend it like so. And I will probably go back into that shade, but then I'm going into the Pinker Times Ahead palette from Too Faced. You can get this at Sephora. I bought this from HSN, but I'm just going to use this lime green shimmer shade, which isn't quite as green looking on the eyelid. It's a little lighter than I thought it would be, but it's fine. I'm just going to use it as my inner corner color. And then I'm going back into a little bit of grungy, not too much just to redefine the green. I can't believe I used three different palettes today. I never do that. And we're not even to the finishing piece. Using out this dark green though, it's looking a little patchy. I haven't used this Ace Beauty palette very much. I've kept it beside me in my makeup drawers for easy access though, because it does have so many different colors. I found the colors in there have come in handy, like today for example, but that shade is a little patchy. It looks a little patchy on the under eye as well, which it is what it is. And then I'm gonna put on a little bit of Too Faced Glitter Glue. Not part of my Sephora haul, but it's a necessary step for today's look. So I'm just gonna pat that on the eyelid, which brings me to an item that I haven't tried yet that I picked up from Sephora. And I've been dying to try it. This is the Dream Dust multi-reflective eye glitter by Valentino in the shade Emerald Green. So it's pretty much just an emerald green pressed glitter and I have been dying to put this on my eyelid. That being said, if you have fake nails, it's kind of hard to dig in here. I don't really like that. I'm getting this green all in my nail. So I almost have to get it on my finger pad and then wipe off my nail before I put it on the eyelid so I don't get color in unwanted areas. This is like a press glitter, but when you get it on your finger, it still has a tack to it, so it will stick to the eyelid even without a glitter glue, but it isn't super sticky. You know, the glitters are individual in this pot, and I wish, I mean, I, I bought it. I knew what I got myself into, but, but the glitters, I think would be great if they were just a little bit more fine and not so, not chunky, but they are chunkier glitters. So I kind of pref would have preferred that, but this color is just 
beautiful. So now we have a super glittery eye look. I recommend using a glitter primer with this because it's just gonna help the glitter not have fallout since this isn't like the creamiest glitter formulation. It's almost like a pressed glitter. It is a pressed glitter. So they're, they are gonna fall down throughout the day if you don't have something to secure them. But the color is gorgeous. I don't feel inclined to pick up another color because it's getting all over my nails. It's kind of difficult since the product itself is lower in the pot so it's not easy to only press your finger pads in. And it's very expensive but the shade is gorgeous. I had to test it for today's look. So I'm quickly just gonna clean up some of the glitter that I can underneath and I'll be right back. So moving on to concealer, I only picked up two concealers during the sale. One was the Valentino concealer, which I've been using and I love this by the way. So I wanted to use the one that I'm less familiar with. This is the Huda Beauty Glowish Bright Light Sheer Concealer. I got it in the shade light medium, which is too dark, but we will correct that later on. I just want to test this a little more, so we're gonna use it. So I know, because I have used this once before, that it's very sheer and it does add a glow. So let me show you. I'm gonna use my beauty blender. And yeah, that coverage is definitely lighter. I'm gonna go in with a highlighter shade over top to kind of correct this and make it a little bit brighter. But it definitely, reflects the light, provides a lighter coverage. I'm just gonna decide today a little bit more of how I feel about it. I love the Valentino, like I said. I don't know if I like this one nearly as much as the Valentino, but it definitely adds a glow. This could be pretty good for more mature skin if it doesn't move at all. And then, okay, this was a huge purchase that I made. I already tried it in one video. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Sculpting Palette, so I'm gonna use it a little bit more today starting off with I want to highlight with it which is one of the things that you can do with this to brighten the inner corner of my eyes where the concealer is too dark. So something like this is very expensive. This is $85 uh, so you have to be pretty committed to wanting to use this. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this lighter shade and a little bit of the shade next to it, not much. And I'm gonna mix this on a mixing palette. Then I'm just gonna put a little bit in here so that it'll give additional coverage that the Glowish didn't give. And it's gonna brighten up that area. And then with whatever I have left, I'm going to highlight. So I think this palette is really great. I don't know, you know, if you are not a makeup artist, how often you're gonna use this. For me, it's not something that I am grabbing for on an everyday basis. This is something that I really only will grab for when I'm really trying to perfect and sculpt the face, but I love the quality of this. I love the versatility of this. I think it's a really nice palette. I think it also is $85, which is a lot of money. But this isn't the first palette like this that I have from Makeup Forever. I have one that has like blush colors as well. It's not necessarily for just sculpting and highlighting. It also has like foundation and cheek colors and all of that. But this one, I feel like I would reach for more because it is a little bit more pinpointed as to when you would use it. And I'm often reaching for items like this to make my face look more snatched if necessary. So another item that I picked up, and I'm gonna come back to the Makeup Forever palette, but I want to use again the Glossier Solar Paint. It's a luminous cream bronzer. I got mine in the shade Flare. So I'm gonna use this to add some bronze to my face, and then I'm gonna go back into the Makeup Forever to add more sculpt. I definitely took advantage of the Sephora sale to pick up Glossier since I had never really tried Glossier before. I did do a big shopping spree at the Glossier store a few weeks back and then everything that I didn't try, I picked up, no, well not everything, but I picked up a lot of things that I did not try in that original haul I did with Glossier and I really was enjoying their products so I wanted to get a 20% off discount to try more. And I think that this is nice. I saw a number of comments saying that you did not like this luminous paint. And I think the color range from what I saw in store was just a bit odd, but I like the shade. I think it's very natural. I think it blends out easily. I don't find the finish of it to be too unflattering. It definitely has a luminous finish, 
but I like it. I think it's nice and it's great for everyday makeup. It's great if you don't have too much of a pigmented base on underneath as well because it does sheer out so easily. So I feel like this did add a nice bronze to my face. I really do not like how that dark green blended out on my eyelids. That makes me sad. <laughs> and then I guess to get more of like a highlight and uh, a sculpt here, I'm gonna go back into this Makeup Forever palette, which is really versatile today to kind of make up for what my concealer and bronzer were lacking. And you have this shade, which is really great for contour. It's quite gray. So I'm gonna warm it up with a little bit of the darker shade because I don't like too gray. And I don't need to use something like this, but I think it just keeps the palette cleaner. And I'm gonna go in and I really just wanted something a little bit deeper and more cool than what the Glossier gave me. So I'm just gonna simply use my fingers to apply it. It doesn't need to be anything too crazy. Probably could have used a little bit more of the truly gray shade for the nose contour, but no biggie. I'm not really a stickler about that. But I wanted it to be more snatched under here, so that's what that's gonna give me. I'm gonna use my beauty sponge, and this blends out pretty easily. I was worried, you know, when you feel it in the container itself, I just felt like there was potential for this not to blend out that easily. But Makeup Forever knows what they're doing, and I think this ended up doing a good job. And also, if you haven't tried the cream highlight in here, really nice. I'm normally not a cream highlight person, but this was very well done by Makeup Forever. So this palette, I am really liking. I totally understand it's quite expensive, so I don't know if it'll be worth it for most people unless you plan to use it every day, but I have found it very, very useful. I don't know how often I'll use it, but when I need specific cream shades for contouring and highlight, I really like being able to customize them. And then before I put powder down, I wanna use one of the two new Rare Beauty liquid blush shades. And so I'm gonna use Virtue. I don't remember which one I tried, Worth or Virtue. I know I've tried both of these on in my videos. I don't have like another blush that I haven't used. You know what? I do. Forget that. I'm not using these. In the Sephora Favorites Clean Me Up kit, I have a new shade of the Rose Ink Lip and Cheek color in Delphine. So I'm going to use this. And this one, you guys, full sized. The kit is unbelievable. The kit was only $35 or something crazy like that. And you get this full sized blush, which I've paid full price for on a different occasion for a different color. And I like this shade a lot. I actually featured this in a recommendations video for the Sephora sale. It's not like the most creamy or malleable formula. It has like a little bit of stick to it, which I think some people don't like, but I like that because I feel like it makes it last longer. I like this formula, put a little bit on the nose. And I think if you use your fingers and warm it into the skin, I think it looks great. This color, very pretty, perfect for today's look. Now to set the under eyes, I don't know how well this is going to go, but I did pick up the Huda Beauty Loose Bake and Setting Powder, which is one of my all-time favorite powders, but I picked it up in the Cherry Blossom color. So this is like a light pink color that was super viral, and I haven't tried like setting like this with a color quite like this, so I wanted to try it, so we are going to. And this sold out pretty quickly for the sale, so it definitely was a viral product. I think I'm gonna use my damp sponge because it's gonna help control the placement of this since the shade is not what I'm used to. Okay, I feel like it doesn't pull super pink on my complexion. It definitely brightens, which I like for what I needed today since my concealer was a little dark. And this powder, formula-wise, is incredible. It's one of the most blurring formulas on the market. So I was not hesitant about picking this up because I knew no matter the direction that the color went, I was going to love the formula. Like, do you see how blurred I look? I'm going to continue on with it because why not? Kind of push it out more. 
so nice. And then I'm gonna use a brush now. I'm gonna pop it in the center of the face. So I don't notice it pulling too pink at all, but it did do a nice job brightening the under eyes, so I like it. And I think the pink is just gonna be subtle to brighten and color correct. But beautiful, I like it. I needed a new one of these powders anyways because mine was getting a little up there in age. So I'm happy I picked this up. And then I also, I'm gonna use, I got a couple more powders, the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Luminous Press Perfecting Press Powder, and then this Makeup Forever HD Skin T Twist and Light. So I'm gonna start off with the Laura Mercier. Okay. And this does have a little bit of a luminosity to it, so I'm gonna kind of put it more in the outskirts of my face since the Putty Beauty is pretty flat. This is, this added a little bit of shimmer shimmer. I feel like, not much, but there definitely is a natural luminosity to this. I'm liking this powder. I think I like it better as a finishing powder as opposed to like a setting powder. So I like to set with my preferred setting powder, something matte, something blurring, and then I like using this, which is not really super shiny or anything, but it does add a little bit of dimension to the face. And then taking it to the next level would be this Makeup Forever which has more of a sheen to it that's stronger. They tried to do a thing with this, with the packaging that I don't like, where you twist it and the perfect amount of powder comes out. I don't know, a little gimmicky for me. So what I found with this is it's very brightening. It has a pigment to it and it's quite of a strong sheen. So I'm just gonna show you, you can literally use this as a natural highlight or with a fluffy brush. It would go well over the skin, but I think with too much of a dense brush and too of a packed on area, it's a bit much for me. I'm gonna twist it to get more powder. I got a little bit more powder. So I don't see myself using this powder that much, but it has enough luminosity to it literally where I can use it as a subtle highlight. When I first used this, I did apply it over my under eye and it was, it was a lot at once. It was very sheeny. It definitely brightened the under eye, but I don't know if I would declare it as um, flattering. So I'm not as in love with this. I definitely like the Laura Mercier better, but this I'm gonna continue to play with to see what other ways I like it. Um, and then let me finish my eye makeup because I don't have anything new other than, you know, I have my Rare Beauty and Patrick Ta mascaras that I picked up, but I don't wanna open these quite yet. So I'm just gonna finish off, put some brown on the under eye and I'll be back. It's coming together now, isn't it? So I'm gonna try a new type of product that I've never tried before. This is from the brand Freco G. It's the original freckle little fake maker. And this came from one of those Sephora favorites kits. So let's try it. It's so tiny and cute, I love it. So all I'm gonna do is just like boop, 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 boop. And I'm gonna take my finger and then kind of press it in, and it creates really natural looking freckles. And don't be afraid to use different pressure because some can be a little splotchy, maybe not that splotchy. I gotta practice with this some more, but I do have some natural freckles underneath that I'm kind of using as a guide. That was not supposed to happen. It's actually quite sheer, so after you press down, it'll spread. Oh, okay. We need to practice using this though. I'm trying to stand up for this, but <laughs> I'm gonna have to practice with this some more. Let me try it again over here. A little bit more product. I don't know, I've seen other people use this and it looked really good. I clearly need some practice. So if you have any tips, let me know. I feel like it did kind of add some cute freckleage. I just messed up in some parts. Like that was a good brown right there. The splotch that I did right here, not cute though. Like this, not good. But the rest looks super duper cute. So we'll continue playing with that. I don't know if I, I don't know what to do about this. Might need to put a little bit of foundation over that. Honestly, really cute. I know this looks like a splotch, but it actually is a real freckle with a little bit of the freck over top. I do have a splotch that big on my nose. So I'm actually a pretty freckly person in general. I don't think I can look at that though. <laughs> what 
what is wrong with me? So I like it, there's potential, but I think I need to practice. Anyways, let's move on to the lips. So for lips, I'm gonna use the LYS Beauty Speak Love Smooth Glide Lip Pencil in Lavish. This is the only lip pencil I have, so it's a no-brainer to use this. So I'm just gonna line my lips. This is nice, I really like this lip pencil. It's easy to apply, but it's not too creamy. And this color is also very nice. And then to finish us off for the lips, I'm gonna use a new product that I've never tried. This is full size. I got it from one of those Sephora favorites kits. This is the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum and Bronze Glow. I'm excited, I've never tried this before. Okay. Oh, I like this. It's like a tinted lip gloss, lip balm hybrid. I've used products like this before. I like this a lot better than his newer lip product, the little guy. You know what I'm talking about. It's like a really pigmented lip gloss. This is more my speed, and it definitely has some plumping properties to it. Ooh, mm, I like that, and it goes with the look. Okay, well, let me get myself together, and I'll see you guys out. I am really loving how this is making my lips look so plump. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me giving first and second impressions of the products that I bought during the Sephora sale. As I try and work my way through testing them, I did get some valuable information that I will be sharing in an upcoming speed reviews, but I do really like the look. I think it's fun and the freckles, they're growing on me. Again, a huge thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use the code MorganT20 at checkout. I will have the link down below if you wanna check it out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.